Hi, I'm Clint Rogers, and I am so thankful that you decided to join the Dream Street Team. This 10 days to touch 10 million is going to make this Thanksgiving season magical and unforgettably meaningful for so many people, largely through what you're going to do, the impact you're going to make. So I'm here in California now, not too far from the Walt Disneyland Resort, and to start off this 10 minute training, I just wanted to take you somewhere, show you something, and tell you a story. So I'm just walking through the Disney store and looking at all the characters and thinking about, man, how much of an impact so many of these characters and stories have had on all our lives. They say that Mickey Mouse is perhaps more rec recognizable in the world than the Beatles or any other person. You know, and largely it's due to the dream of one man. Uh, as the story goes, Walt Disney was rejected over 300 times before he finally found someone who believed in his dream of creating the happiest place on earth. Well, my question for you is, how can you make your home and your family the happiest place on earth? How can we make our neighborhoods the happiest place on earth? And how can we create magical moments every day? Well, I have something I want to show you and see what you think. A few years ago, I was in a relationship that was not happy. I don't know if it's too personal to say, but no matter how hard we tried, we kept causing each other so much pain we felt numb inside. Well, I remember towards the end of the relationship, we went to Disneyland together with her family and the irony of walking around what was supposed to be the happiest place on earth, but just feeling so lonely and, and dis depressed inside. I had to go off by myself into a back corner alley. I sat on the ground with my head crouched between my knees and felt like death. I felt so lonely and depressed, I didn't even know if I wanted to live anymore. Well, I wish my case was unique. A wise man by the name of Henry Irene said you could go up to pretty much anyone and instead of asking them, how are you? could just as easily say, where does it hurt? He also said if you look in people's eyes and listen with your heart, you might know how to help them. Well, a short time after that, a man by the name of Dr. Greg Bear helped me. He showed me it wasn't necessarily that relationship that was off, but my whole approach to life was. Uh, he said this, he says, more than anything, all of us want this. We want to be loved. He says, before we're loved though, We have to be accepted, and before we're accepted, we have to allow ourselves to be seen. And before we allow ourselves to be seen, we have to start it all off by telling the truth about ourselves. Now that may seem, seem simple, but I didn't get it. You know, like so many other people, I wanted to be accepted and loved so much that I either lied sometimes or just presented the best parts of myself. I never really let myself be seen, so it was impossible for me to be accepted and loved. Even if I met someone who could love me, I never even gave them that chance. Well, how can we create magical experiences and, and wherever we go, make it the happiest place on earth? I think part of it is making environments, inviting people to be able to share the truth about who they are so they can be seen, accepted, and loved. You know, in the 10 years before that, I traveled and visited 40 different countries. I received a PhD and did all kinds of crazy stuff, but I was trying to do it in order to earn love. It's a very different thing where you feel loved and then you tap into your dreams. You don't do great things to be loved, but when you're loved, you can dream in a different way. So this project is perfect for that. When we show people this video, this wisdom film, they're in a different space where they're open more to who they are. At that moment, you're going to ask them powerful questions. Ask them, how did you feel? And, and what were you thinking as you watched this video? What's a dream that you might have? Maybe we share. What do you need next? What are you looking for next to make that dream a reality? And what can I do to help you make that dream a reality? Well, something else that's going to help you is what Joey is going to share with you in this next video.